Of all the places you can travel, one of the most mysterious and exciting is all around us. The oceans contain huge untapped resources of food, minerals and energy and are home to many species of life vital to the ecological balance of the world. The oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface, but still remain largely unexplored. They may well provide the key to the survival of our planet. As the planet runs out of fossil fuels such as coal and gas, and we become more aware of the effects these fuels have on warming the world's climate through the greenhouse effect, we'll need to turn to safe and renewable forms of energy. Well, the oceans have enormous potential for generating unlimited, clean, safe energy through wave, tide and wind power. And that means new job opportunities for marine engineers like Ben. I'm principally employed as a naval architect. My responsibilities are uh, uh, designing a wave energy collector that's going to be deployed off the north of Scotland next year. Uh, this is a device to extract energy from the sea and convert energy into electricity. A particular prototype we're developing at the moment is called the Osprey device. Osprey stands for Ocean Swell Pad Renewable Energy. This works on the principle of what's called an oscillating water column. If you can imagine a, a, a cave with a blowhole, as the water outside the cave goes up and down, water inside the cave also goes up and down, and this drives air inside the cave through the blowhole. Now we've developed a chamber that does a similar thing and we can extract energy from the airflow using air turbines similar to uh, turbines used in wind energy. The scale of the models we're looking at are 40th scale so when, when scaled up they would be approximately the size of a two-story house. The unit we're developing at the moment is likely to generate between one and two megawatts. Uh, th th this kind of power would provide uh, electricity for say a village or a small town. It's very challenging this project. The location for the prototype is one of the, considered to be one of the most severe environments uh, probably in the world and that's uh, certainly very challenging for the uh, design engineer.